The people back then, from what I know, is like um, Chinese do believe that if they have the small feet, that is even better for the girl. That's considered to be beautiful. So what's going on? Uh, so you want to turn off? The tire is not necessarily flat, Dangerous. but it's got like dry cracks from being like an old tire. It's not too bad. But what about if it like completely open up? Then the tire will pop. Is it even open? I need a receipt. One of the must-see things while visiting here in George Jean Penang is Peranakan Mansion, which is a historic house and UNESCO World Heritage Site. Built at the end of the 19th century, this is where the rich Peranakan, which is the ethnic group descended from Chinese settlers from the southern province who came to the Malay archipelago lived. It's very efficient. 13 years old, 14 years old, 15 years old. at 13, 14 years old, they married when they were really young. That's why I'm first Yeah, and the baby. Yeah. Uh, big pants here. Yeah. So you can see what's happening. Yes. Yeah. They stand longer. The legs, of course, very tired. You can see it. Yeah. Oh, baby chair, high chair for the baby. Now the picture here, yeah? This is what they play when they are free. It's originated in China. This card. I don't know how it works. It looks so complicated. Take four months to finish yes, the show. Four months to complete. That's a bit. See that? Yeah. Around fifty thousand to hundred thousand pieces. Wow. Yeah. And this one, it take eight months, nine months to complete. Wow. This house is stunning. No wonder why a lot of people actually on TripAdvisor read it as like a really, really top place that you have to visit. So many people read it as excellent five stars. You can definitely see why it's a heritage site. Like there's just so much, so much history and they have so much here, like the architecture, they have sewing machines, they have jewelry, they have everything you can imagine from back then. Yeah, it's the, it's the mix between Chinese and Malay. Malay influence store. So we are on the second floor right now. Ooh, it's really hot there. The people back then, from what I know, is like um, Chinese do believe that if they have the small feet, that is even better for the girl. That's considered to be beautiful. But the parents say the smaller the feet, the more beautiful the ladies. Yeah. Mm. Actually, when they marry, they don't want the ladies run away. Yeah, they can't run. Yeah, they cannot. They can't run in the small pit. That's a tiffin, yeah, lunch box. Normally, it comes with four levels. Yeah, we saw a bunch. Of, we saw a bunch of the smaller versions in the kitchen area. This one's huge. Yeah, I don't think that that. Fat man, eat all that. Lunch. I think that's just for for decoration. I don't know. And that is the love chair. So that's why they call it love chair. Yeah. That's it. Then we can talk to each other. Right here. And then I can face with Jimmy. It's really convenient. It's really nice. <laughs> so but they should put a table here. That way you can eat dinner. Yeah. Like a little stand. A tea. Yeah. So nice. The second floor, we see mainly the mainly the bedroom. The bedroom is a highlight, I would say. And the bedroom is 
so lovely. The bears are so, so lovely. Back then. Let's take a look at this room. Wow, Tim. Wow. It's crazy because at my at my house, like we have a bunch of antique stuff as well. Like I have this exact dresser, this desk at my house. Like just about without the mirrors, it's not a complete set. And then I have like two of the uh, the sewing machines, the old school sewing machines. So it's funny. Like my dad is a hoarder, not necessarily, but he like loves antique stuff. So mm -hmm. like we have like old desks like this. And we have like antique. Singer sewing machines. So in this room is like highly say what is their prev what are the things that they love because from what I have heard, Yongya they love the stuff imported from England. So as you can see, like the sculpture and everything, this one got a little bit of um, English influence too, like a set of the heart and everything, the print, and especially like the soap, the perfume, and they have the old version of horns, it looks so lovely. So this place is so cool in the aspect of, you can see history history of like the Malay influence, Chinese influence, and you can see a little bit of English influence as well at this house. Love to have like the stuff like old. Well, I really have I have a whole house full of stuff. So <laughs> really, no, really, any, really antique stuff like old TV. So you know what Ta wants? She wants antique stuff in our house. But it's that's why I chose you. You're antique. You're older than me. <laughs> what? You're the antique. <laughs> No, the, the place is really nice and you actually get a free guide. So if history and things like that are interesting to you, like you can come here, you pay 20 rupees a person, and then you can get a free guide. And they have them in different languages. They have English, Chinese, I'm not sure the rest of them, but I know they have a couple different language guides. So you can basically be told all the history you want, or you can pick up a, port, a little pamphlet and you can read through the stuff as you walk through by yourself. I forgot it somewhere. Looks like a giant lunchbox. I mean, but they put it here. Yeah, but they're everywhere, yeah. They have these ones, they have bigger ones. I think some of them were not only used for, I think the bigger ones were used for selling stuff, like out on the streets, like selling dim sum, dumplings, like that, how to keep them all nice but it's and not warm. Tiffin. But, yeah, but it's these little like ones, tiffin. yeah, it looks like a Tiffany. Yeah, yeah, right. But like this. Like, come on. Somebody's not going to carry this. For lunch. You know what I mean? No! you are gonna carry something like this. A small one. Yeah. So like, this looks like a tiffin, but a giant one. Yeah, I think they set it up for decoration. Look it, because two pair. Yeah. Like that. Really, really nice house. I feel that the feng shui of this place is really, really good. The ventilating and everything. Ventilating. Yeah. The way they set up, they have the garden in the middle. So right after you get in the house, you step into the house. The first thing you see is the common area. It's like a garden area. My blowing it. Hey, remember how we were talking about building a tomb? I'll take one of these too. And then on the right side, it would be kind of like the the guest. Um, what's that? The dining table, more like a feast style. <laughs> Very luxurious. It is like we have it, we try it the first time within one second we both were like wow. That's like my favorite so dessert I've ever had. If you guys come to Penang <laughs> If you guys come to Penang and you guys don't come and try Shen I will be really mad. 